Hi everyone, Alex here. Uh, this is gonna be the second day of uploads for the 12 days of Christmas. Uh, and today we are looking at, as you can see the by the background, some BOI locomotives. Um, yeah, and you know that means it's gonna be a steamer. What steamer? Uh, this is number 1219. Uh, I just call it the Merry Christmas locomotive. Uh, it's uh, 462 uh, Light Mikado. I also have a Heavy Mikado in red and green. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. In red and green that we're going to be reviewing tomorrow. And then on the last day we're going to be reviewing uh, MTH ES44 DC in Christmas scheme. It's number 1225, so I just thought that's suiting. So yeah, let's get into the review of this locomotive. Alright, so this is the locomotive. Looking at the front, if it wants to focus. There we go, that was aggressive. <laughs> we have the bell, we have some rivets. All around the face of the locomotive, not that many as we usually see, but it's not as detailed as the locomotive. Uh, an area where lights usually go. Uh, we have some railings, some airline hoses, I believe. We have an actual coupler, and we have a magnetic uncoupling device. And we have the cow catcher with some minimal rivets on it. Staircases attached to a top uh, platform above the piston, and then a plot form below the piston um rotating to the side we can see the little pistons decorated with a cute little snowflake which i kind of think is cool then we have the main body of the locomotive which is a light blue with some snowflakes painted on it just kind of cool and then the boiler cap and such are dark blue and then we have some railings and some pipes which are molded onto the shell unfortunately um, we have the wheels, which are dark blue, and then with a white outline, I guess. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. Then we have 1219 written on the side of the locomotive. That is, of course, the number. Uh, we have a few more rivets on the cab of the locomotive. It would have been a lot nicer to see some more on the body, but oh well. Um, we do, though, have an engineer on either side, which is kind of cool. The windows don't move. Yeah, and then, so yeah, that's about it for this side. Moving to the tender, we have Merry Christmas written on it. Some more snowflakes. This is a coal tender with the uh, water in the back. This is, I was trying to read what it said. It's a hundred, it's 12,000 gallons. And then it has 1219 written on the back with some snowflakes, blue, white, and then dark blue we have the rivets on the side you can see the coal on the top which is actually pretty good looking um then you can see the six ac six axles for the tender it's not the centipede tender uh we have a ladder to get in we have the little walkway I forgot what these things are called or if they're just called the walkway that uh lifts up and down so when you want to put it in the box again it's easy to move around um how are we gonna do this? I guess we're just gonna go like this. You can see the little um, etched in planks on the plastic for like a walkway. Then we have the lid, the lid, yes. <laughs> and then some more railings. That's about it for this locomotive. Same on the other side, other than different pipes. But yeah, it's not very detailed. And it does look really good though. I'll give that to him. I really like the way this thing looks and runs. So, now that we have that part covered, let's actually put it on our little switching layout and run it. Alright, so we have the locomotive on our little layout, and I guess it's a small update. I have all the track ballasted. Not good, but it is ballasted. And we have some... We're starting to lay down some grass. I just have to do over there. And then the sides, and that should be about it. I also have some plexiglass up on one end so nothing falls off. Uh, we're going to try and start this locomotive. I'm not sure if it's already going to be started up. And if not, we'll just have to take it off and put it on again. Alright, it is. Um, I don't know how to stop it. That's interesting. 
All right, so there's the, here's the air brake when you press five. I really don't, I'm just experimenting with this. I haven't really run it. All right, so we did something to shut it down. We pressed nine. We pressed nine, it turned. All right, there we go. That's how you turn it off. And I don't know what I pressed. I think it's nine. So. All right, now we can hear a person walking up to the engine. I assume that this comes with the starting sequence. Yeah. So we're gonna listen to that. Cool little start up. We have the horn slash whistle, um, which is originally a Christmas. I think it's Santa saying something, but you can change that to a normal horn by going into your CVs and switching that out. Um, then we have a bell. It's really slow, like extremely slow. And then we press zero, and apparently that starts the locomotive. Um, I. You don't know how to turn the light on. All right, that's also a thing. So we're gonna. All right, I press. Oh, it's weird. All right, so five is light apparently. I don't know if you can see that. It's really dim. Ridiculously dim. But it is on. So we press one for the bell. We can start going forward. Did it let us? All right, there we go. It's a little brighter now. We have some chuffing sound. Oh boy. It's really quiet though. There we go. I gotta go in the house because of the lack of space. But yeah, it's extremely slow though. But oh well. There are no lights in the back, which is kind of disappointing, but oh well. Then we have the horn again. The horn, yes. The whistle, my fault. Too many diesel reviews. So yeah, that's about it for the locomotive, I assume. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed the video and. I'll see you tomorrow when we review something else. <laughs> Bye, guys.